Hey, what's up everyone? It's Danielle and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're talking about finding the perfect scent for the fall and winter season. Whatever the occasion, these Smell Good perfumes are perfect to wear during the cooler months. Not only do they smell great, but they're at great price points. So this video is for people who especially don't want to spend a lot of money on fragrances. So I took a trip to Zara and I picked up three different perfumes. I feel like Zara is becoming more and more popular for its fragrances and I think that's because they smell good but most importantly most of them are under $30. Christmas is right around the corner, so this would be a great budget-friendly gift for a loved one. And if they really like the scent that you give them, there wouldn't be an issue repurchasing another bottle because it's at such an affordable price. So the first perfume I wanna talk about is Zara's Red Vanilla. The fragrance notes include black currant, iris, and of course, vanilla. Now this fragrance is described as warm and elegant. Right off the top, you're introduced to a fruity aroma balanced really well with floral. I've experienced perfumes that have too much of either and it honestly just reminds me of body sprays that I would wear in high school that would smell like straight up fruit or straight up flower. But the black currants and iris in Zara's Red Vanilla they blend very well together and when the perfume dries down, you're left with a very soft and comforting vanilla savor. Next on my list is actually not a perfume, it's a cologne. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are you all here trying to smell like a whole dude? Just hear me out. I feel like it's totally fine for women to wear men's cologne if it's not overly masculine. Do what you want though, that's just my opinion. It's a growing trend and I think it's especially great to try out during the colder months when you want to incorporate a little bit more wood and musk into your everyday fragrance. From Zara City's collection, I decided to get London. This is described as a woody floral and includes notes of mint, sandalwood, and iris. I feel like London is great for a business meeting, um, a networking event, any type of professional setting where you wanna be taken seriously. While doing some research on this cologne, a lot of people online said this reminds them of Y by YSL. So if you're looking for a dupe, this might be it. Now the last fragrance on my list is actually another cologne. At Dawn comes to us from Zara night collection. This is actually my favorite fragrance out of the three that I showed you. If you're looking for an intoxicating dinner perfume that has a lot of seduction, this is your girl or guy. The top note is cardamom, the middle is tea, and the base is musk. Now the first thing that got my attention was the color of the bottle and the name. Immediately I knew this was going to be a very warm winter appropriate scent and I truly appreciate how the spice from the cardamom plays with the musk. For me this is just such an alluring scent. It's not too masculine and I think what it is is that the Tino helps to really round it out. Now all three fragrances that I have in front of me are between 80 to 100 milliliters which is a lot because I did not pay more than $20 for each bottle. Now these are toilettes, so they are fragrance, but they're not as concentrated as a perfume, so they will wear off throughout the day. So I suggest moisturizing your skin with a light oil before applying your perfume, like a grapeseed oil, or you can apply your perfume on wet hair, or you can simply just toss it in your purse and reapply it throughout the day. All right, so that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down your favorite Zara scent. There are so many more scents that I wanted to try out, but they just didn't have it at the time so comment down your favorite zara scent and i would love to check it out and that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one